Bonnie, happy Saturday. I've got a giant bag of empties for you guys to share today. Oh my gosh. And of course it's mostly soap. <laughs> Can you believe it's the end of May? I looked at my calendar and I went, oh my gosh, it's May 30th already? And it's empty time. My daughter's uh, last day of school was actually Friday. And I feel like May just like flew by. I mean, May was different than March and April. I feel like, you know, now that we're starting to open things up a little bit, there's a little different vibe going on. But it's it's still, you know, challenging, you know, with everything going on. Um, so I want to share my empties with you today. I'm going to go grab everything. Again, with the soap, I really got um, crazy with these uh, island collections. I think I have like four of the island collections that I used up. These are the two of them. Mango Mai Tai and Honolulu Sun. These were used in the kitchen. Um, I must wash my hands at least like I think like 15 times a day. So used up those. Pineapple Mango. I want a second set of these. These are the ones. Oh my gosh these smell so good. They look like popsicles and they smell like popsicles. <laughs> So I'm like all about summer. Um, a Stay Magical Pineapple Punch. This one is actually really nice. Very cute little design. I had that one in the bathroom. Um, I also used up my Philosophy Sugar Plum Fairy from Christmas. Every year at Christmas I always buy one or two of the Philosophies. Um, and these are kind of like a body wash, you know, uh, bubble bath. These are really nice though. This one smelled really good. It was all purpley. It was so pretty. Um, hair mask. Bath and Body Works Strengthening Bamboo Hair Mask. I have one more of these. I am really hoping that Bath and Body Works does some hair masks for summer. Um, it's funny. Yesterday I was pointing out that in their coupons they had the um, check it out. It looked like maybe some summer stuff coming, and then someone pointed out that they think this was a couple of years ago, which they're probably right, because I do remember those shower jellies. So I'm kind of like, I don't know, could it be like, you know, a hint of summer? I have something all over me. <laughs> like dust all over me. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Hopefully we get some new hair masks for the summer, though. Um, I did not like this one at all. Amazing Mom. The scent was fine. It was watermelon lemonade. But these are such ugly bottles for the Mother's Day collection. I was not, not liking those. Um, Margarita Cupcake. This is definitely one. I'm hoping for SAS. Who else, like, raise your hand if you, like, <laughs> wake up every morning and you go in Bath and Body Works and you really, really hope that semi-annual sale has landed. Like, every morning I do that, I'm like, oh, maybe it'll be here today. And now it's, like, Monday's June 1st. So I'm like, oh, Maybe they're going to do it. <laughs> so I always get excited. Um, pocket bag. I only have one empty pocket bag this time because I'm not really using the pocket bags. I like the spray better. This is my favorite going bananas. I am starting to build my collection again of pocket bags now that they're more readily available. I still give them to the drivers, but I'm also building my collection. I like to collect these. I don't know why. These are fun collectibles. So um, I'm definitely buying some more of those. I, speaking of antibacterial, I did use up um, two of the foaming ones, which they're no longer selling. I'm not sure why. Vanilla coconut and fresh sparkling snow. These were two of the ones that weren't working too good. They were kind of like, um, the spray wasn't coming out as good. So I was like, um, wanted to get rid of those. Confetti cake pop. I love confetti cake pop. This one is super strong in the shower. It's funny, a lot of times you'll hear me talk about shower gels, like what's strong and what's not. This one is super strong. That needs to be a semi-annual sale. <laughs> Two more soaps, Caribbean Escape and Georgia Peach. Caribbean Escape was really nice. This one was actually Sweet Peach. Um, oh no, I got Georgia Peach in my hand. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, Caribbean Escape was uh, fresh pineapple, cassava melon, and creamy coconut. Oh my gosh, this one was nice. Although I'm kind of Kind of done with coconut this year. I don't know. I go back and forth. Sometimes I'm on coconut, sometimes I'm not. Um, bright lemon snowdrop. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are the bath salts. I am really excited to have this come back next year. It's funny because I'm going Monday's June 1st. July, August is when they start bringing in Bath and Body Works fall. And I was like, are we kidding me? I'm like, so, like, my brain is just like 
going crazy. I'm like, I cannot wait for fall, but it's just so chaotic right now. But I'm excited for fall. Um, Sunwash Citrus. I bought the candle for this one. It's coming soon. I can't wait to review that one. Um, I want to see if it smells like the, um, the soap. And we are supposed to be getting a Sunwash Citrus Body Care Collection. I keep seeing it on Instagram. A lot of people have posted it. They're testing it in, like, Columbus, Ohio. Um, I'm really hoping that is the line that they bring on <laughs> for some annual if they have it. Um, my Avon Advanced Techniques Volumer, uh, an Ultimate Volume Shampoo. I love this shampoo. Awesome shampoo. It smells so good, you guys. Oh, I love the smell of that shampoo. Um, Island Margarita. This is one of my mom's favorites. Love an Island Margarita. Uh, a Black Cherry Merlot. One of my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works scents. Up there with Strawberry Pound Cake and now Boardwalk Taffy. This is so strong. There's nothing I don't love about Black Cherry Merlot. Strawberry Pound Cake Scrub. There's actually enough in here for one more use. I don't like these bottles, though. I think Bath & Body Works needs to, like, redesign these. Because when you squeeze them, and if you have arthritis in your hands a little bit, these are hard to squeeze. You cannot get the product out. I mean, this is like... Look at that. I'm squeezing, like, full on. You have to cut these open, which I find kind of annoying. <laughs> and it just, like... It doesn't look pretty in the bathroom. Look at that. It's all, like, mangled. <laughs> so, anyway, I will use the rest of this one up, but... You know, I, I, would, I would prefer a redesign. Um, I, I, two more things in here. So, um, I did use up my Cocoa Sugar Exfoliating Lip Scrub from Christmas. I'm going to keep the packaging in case I wanted to, like, refer to this next year if they do something similar. This was nice. I do like the Lush ones a little bit better, but this one is actually pretty nice. Um, I just, I had, a, I had a Lush product, too. Where did it go? Oh, I had it sitting down here. Um, I did use up, this is actually funny. It was, it's a sunny side up on top and it says silver bells on the side. <laughs> I think my daughter switched the lid. I'm not super happy with what Lush is doing with these biodegradable labels. Cause they, again, they look messy in the bathroom. I like my bathroom to look pretty. And these labels are just like gross. Look at that. <laughs> this was um, actually the silver bell shower jelly, which I really like, but the labels are kind of eh. <laughs> And then finally, this is actually going in the trash. This was the Energizing Peel-Off Mask with Coffee Beans from Bath & Body Works. It came out a couple years ago. This was supposed to be a peel-off mask. It didn't really work all that well. It was kind of goopy. It didn't dry super well. And then when it peeled off, it was super thin. Um, I'm all for Bath & Body Works doing masks, but this was not one of my, my favorite ones. So those are my empties for May. Um... I'm actually going to do another video today. I am going to be reviewing the Perfect Peony perfume, which I've never had a perfume before, so I'm going to give you my impressions on that one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.